Hi, this is Karen. I'm with inspiredbygram.com and today we're going to be making a super easy, quick card. I'm just using a couple um, supplies and some embellishments here with some pearls and some ribbon and some mossy meadow and petal pink. Um, so this is the card here. I use a little bit of Wink and Stella and the happy birthday and the banner image. And on the inside, we just use some simple strips and on the envelope, we do the same. So everything coordinates together. Let's talk about the products we'll be using today. I am using the Label Me Pretty uh, stamp set. This is a carryover from last year's annual catalog to the 2019-20 catalog. The only thing that's different is this, mine is not a cling mount stamp. Um, so uh, the new ones all come as a cling mount stamp, but what I am doing is as you can see, I don't have the labels here on any of these, but what I'm doing is when I purchase a cling mount stamp and I have the labels on them, you are left with a bunch of um, sticky paper here once you get the adhesive off. So I can take these and make them a cling mount, which I did with this one with the happy birthday. So I love that. Let me just peel it off here and show you. I've got the label here on here and there's about a one inch piece of that sticky adhesive. So now this is a super great cling mount stamp that um, won't fall off the block. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so the stamp is again is Label Me Pretty and the next thing we'll need is the subtle embossing folder and we will be um, embossing the Mossy Meadow. The designer series paper is the beautiful Magnolia Lane paper. And this is just beautiful. If In this card design here, you can make or cut out 12 three by four pieces of the designer series paper. So you can make 12 cards. And if you know, you would need another paper, a 12 by 12 for the strips. But if you, if you just wanted to make 12 without strips, you've got 12 simple, easy cards. So the coordinating colors that go with Magnolia Lane are the basic black, early espresso, mossy meadow, petal pink, so saffron, and whisper white. This also coordinates with the Magnolia Lane Suite, which you can find on page 36 through 38 of the annual catalog. So this is the subtle embossing folder. It's one of the thicker ones. So in your die cutting machine, you just have to be careful as to what you use. I just use the regular platform and one acrylic plate. All right, so let's get started. Let me bring in the consumables that we will need. You're also gonna need a punch as well. So I've got my Whisper White envelope. I've already pre-punched um, this out with a pretty label punch. I've got a scrap of Whisper White. This is the Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper and this is cut three by four. This is petal pink and this is cut three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Uh, the strips here, I've got two of them. This is the one that goes on the envelope. The Designer Series paper is cut a half inch by four and three eighths and the Mossy Meadow is three quarters of an inch by um, four and three eighths. And then the strip that goes on the inside of the card is again, the same uh, three quarters of an inch and a half an inch, um, but this measures five and a half inches. This is the Mossy Meadow um, cardstock, and that's your standard four by five and a quarter piece. And I've already um, embossed it with the subtle embossing folder. And I've got a, a um, white cardstock base here that is your standard five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. So let's start working on the card here. Let me get it off to the side. And what I'm gonna do is, I've got some other materials that we'll be using as well, but I'll just talk about those when I bring them into the picture. Okay, so we've already got the subtle, um, let's just get these adhered first. So I like to use, with this project, I'm gonna use mostly the Tombow liquid glue. And we're just gonna run um, the glue all around. And then I'm gonna slip this over. And I'm gonna look, before I put it down, I'm gonna look as to the design in which way I would like it to go. So I think the flowers kind of look, let's see. 
Yeah, I think they look better going this way. So I'm just going to offset this at an angle and then just press it down. All right, so that one's all set, ready to go. Now let's bring in the card base here. All right, and again, we're going to use the Tombow glue. So I'm just going to put this all around the edges here. I find that it's really beneficial to use a Tombow, Tombow glue when uh, you are you're adhering anything that has been embossed. All right, we'll just give that a nice little press. So then, then the next thing we'll do is um, let's put the uh, strip here on the inside. We can get that all done. And this I'm just going to use my regular adhesive for that. All these sizes and dimensions will be on my um, website, inspiredbygram.com. All right, so we've got that looking good, and I'm just gonna flip this over to make sure they're flush and they're pretty good. So I think that just that little strip here adds so much to the inside of your card. So while we're doing the strips, let's do the one for the envelope. So same procedure, just make sure you have enough adhesive on here so the postage or the post office um, doesn't get upset with you that it falls off. This should go fine through the mail and it just adds so much to your card. So I love to be able to coordinate, you know, the, the card all the way through, especially to the envelope. All right, so now let's um, work on our stamping. I'm gonna bring this into the picture. I'm using Stays On Jet Black ink. This is a permanent ink and we'll be using our stamp and write markers with this so that is why i'm using the stays on and with stays on you need a special um cleaner um it's i've got it right here it's the this is an old bottle but i've had it for many years so you'll need a, a different kind of cleaner to clean the um stamp so i'm just going to hold this down because i want a really nice black image oops that really stuck all right, so that looks pretty good. We'll let that dry for a second. In the meantime, we're going to, um, this is the punch, I've already punched it out here. We'll use it a little bit later, but this is the pretty label punch. And what we're going to do is, I'm gonna cut this in half while that image is drying. So we have it all set and ready to go. All right, got that done. And let's bring in this pretty little panel here. I'm going to be using the, this is the um, Organdy Striped Ribbon. It's petal pink. And you won't really need a lot of it. Um, you know, just a couple inches there. I'm gonna cut this off with my snips here. And I like this ribbon because you can really see through to the designer series paper. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna flip this over. We're gonna use our regular adhesive and just put a little bit on each side. And then I'm just going to press this down on the back. I'm gonna wrap it around and attach to the other side. And I think that's actually a little too low, so let's start over again. Because it's kind of going at an angle here so it's a little bit more, um, you gotta be a little bit more precise here. Okay, that's much better. All right, I just wanna make sure that's really stuck down, so let me just add a little bit more adhesive. And with this, you can your adhesive really just goes down really nicely. You can always use some scotch tape, so let, actually, I'm gonna just gonna use some scotch tape. That way I know for sure this card is not gonna fall apart because we don't want our cards falling apart. We work hard to make them. Okay, so that's looking real good. We can actually put this on our card right now. So again, we're going to bring in the Tombow glue and we'll just put a little bit, I put a, quite a bit up there in that other corner there. So let me just move it down and make sure there's some over here too on your ribbon. And again, I've got to make sure I've got this going in the right way. And I think I'm going to go that direction. I'm going to actually turn it again. So it's a little bit more at a diagonal. And I'm looking at the left corner and the right corner. And, you know, the, and then the left and the right again. 
because I really want that to be spaced evenly. All right, we'll just give this a nice press here, make sure it stays put. And with the multi-purpose glue, it really does dry quickly. All right, so now let's work on the stamping uh, stamp image here. So the markers I have here are Petal Pink, and this is Pear Pizzazz. I wanted a lighter shade of green because the green that's in the uh, designer series paper, that is Mossy Meadow, and I find that um, Mossy Meadow is just gonna be way too dark for this image here. And in the stamp set, I don't know if you really noticed, um, any of the stamps that are in the stamp set, let me just bring it in again, will work with this card. So very versatile stamp. Um, so with this card design, anything will really go from there. So I'm just gonna try to go as fast as I can because I don't speed up my, um, my filming one because I don't edit. And if I make a mistake, I want you to see how I fix my mistakes because I think that's important. Uh, I've learned a lot from other fellow demonstrators um, when they're authentic and show us, you know, we all make mistakes and that's how we learn from each other. So I appreciate those demonstrators that show us how to fix mistakes. All right, I'm just gonna pretend that's a flower up here because I wanna just wanna get some pink up there. And let me see, let's do this one right here too. There's no right or wrong way to color. All right, I think, let's get a little bit up in here too. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the pear pizzazz. We'll go back to the petal pink in a little bit, but I wanna get the green down. And there's, I, I really like working with the, the brush tip just because I don't have a lot of patience. <laughs> so um, I find it's a little bit quicker. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm kind of like dabbing right here, but um, I will come back with a fine tip to fill in. Okay. And I think what I'm gonna, oh, I missed a flower right there. How did I not see that? See, once you start coloring in, you kind of see what you missed. So let's go back to the petal pink here and get this flower here. And I think I'm gonna change this one up a little bit. Let me just bring in the original card. If you can see here, I um, colored this with petal pink. I'm gonna color it with the, um, the pear pizzazz, just to add a little um, difference to the card and we can kind of see um, if the, that color will work. All right, so let's bring the green back in. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch over to the very fine tip here. Again, this, it doesn't fill in as fast, which is like for me, I just like to get it done. Do a good job, but get it done quickly. Especially these fine little areas here. Okay, so, whoops, there's a leaf up there. I'm gonna switch that pen over her marker. All right, so now I'm gonna color this in with a green, like I said I was going to. And then you can let me know in the comment section. I really like to get opinions from people, so if you would provide a comment as to, at the very end, I'll show you each one, which color you prefer. Okay, so now that that ink is still semi-wet, we're gonna bring in the Wink of Stella, and I'm going to just add some Wink of Stella into the white banner here, just to add a little bit of glitter there. And I'm also gonna bring it down here into the Pear Pizzazz part of the banner. Okay, let me just bring this up to the camera. Really not sure if you can see it or not, but I can see it and it looks really pretty. All right, so we are done with the Wink of Stella. We'll get the pens out of the way. And now we're going to um, get the Pretty Label Punch. I love punches. This makes it so easy. All right, this is a pretty small piece, but 
think I've got it right there. All right, so there we go. We can recycle that or use it for another project. All right, so the two pieces of the black that we cut out ahead of time, I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna add adhesive to the label. And now I'm going to just take these pieces and this is just, I'm adding a little bit of a border so it will stand out on your card a little bit um, better than just normal. Just think the label really neat. Oops, I wanted, needed a little bit of something. So, so you can see it just adds a lot to it. All right, we'll add stamp and dimensionals on the back side of here. And I've just got bits and pieces here. You'll need about, depending on how big, I'm using the excess ones on the side. Um, I guess, let me see. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. I don't think I need one in the middle, so we'll just spare that last one on that sheet and we'll just remove the backings real quick. You can really uh, mass produce this card so quickly. All right, so I'm gonna put this straight though. Okay, so there we go. There's our card and here's our envelope. One ink color stays on black. We all have black, so make sure when you're using your stamp and write markers that you use a permanent black ink. And so here's the one with the pear pizzazz, and here's the one. Oh, you know what I forgot? Oh my goodness, I totally forgot the pearls. If you noticed here, I have. I used three pearls and I just thought it would just add this nice touch. So let's get my pearls here. And we're gonna use one of each size. So I'm gonna just put them in the black areas. I'll just two, two up there and on a little small one down here. There we go. Now it's complete, sorry about that. All right, so here's the pear pizzazz card, and here's the one with petal pink. So you'll just have to let me know which one you like, pear pizzazz or petal pink. Please comment below, and please hit the subscribe button if you're a new uh, watcher. And if you're a returning watcher, thanks for coming back to my channel. Have a great night.